Hey guys, it's B. Wiley. I'm trying something a little different here. This background is just, I did not want to move, guys. Let me tell you something. I have been working out hard and doing some strenuous leg activity, and I was too sore to go upstairs to even try to change my look, put on some lipstick or anything. So, what you see is what you get. So, I was having a conversation with another fellow coach, fellow coach sister of mind and we were just talking about the inner work that it takes for women that are single and who have yet to be in a divine alignment with their husband and the inner work that must be performed and the things that must be done before you can meet your husband and then take all the blockages away that may come that are due to trauma and previous experiences and the first thing that came to my mind when I was thinking about myself included, because I'm not married, and I think about women who are going through the struggle of singleness or in your single in your season of singleness, is that you must reboot, you must uproot, and you must abort. Old stinking thinking. I got the abort part from TD Jakes. That's not for me. But the reboot. And I wrote it down, uproot and abort. So when, we're re we're, when we are rebooting, we're taking out that old crap that was put in us, that our mother told us, our fathers, or the guys that we liked. We're taking all of that nonsense out and we're pushing it out. And everything that they said about us, we're turning it around into a positive and we're seeing the exact opposite. If someone told you you'd never amount to anything because you're trifling, you turn that around and say, oh, I am everything and I will accomplish all my dreams and goals step by step, day by day. If you are told that you will be single for the rest of your life because you came from a broken family and you've been single most of your adult life, turn it around no weapon formed against me shall prosper i am in divine order to be perfectly aligned with my spiritual and purpose partner in jesus name so what is it that you're telling yourself every day what have you been telling yourself over the years what kind of patterns do you see